again and thanks for joining me. It's Jillian D'Souza. And today we are going to talk about what to expect from your catering proposal. So you're looking for a caterer for your party, your wedding reception, your gala or other special event. And you've gotten referrals, you've done your Google search, maybe your coordinator has given you a list, maybe your colleagues have told you uh, whom they have used. And so you've made some phone calls, had some consultations, and now you have the proposal back from the caterer. That proposal should be complete. Everything that you require should be listed on that proposal. Don't take for granted that something that you talked about in your meeting is going to be included in your proposal. Sometimes things get uh, misrepresented, not deliberately so, just in translation in terms of what you want and what the caterer has heard you say and how they use their expertise to translate that into an actual service item for you on the paper. But basically, the translation of what you are looking for for your reception should come through on the pages of that proposal in terms of the food, the beverage, um, which encompasses your menu, and also items such as your the staffing, whether it be um, bartenders or wait staff or chefs and, and so on, and also with your equipment. Think things like your linen, your china, your flatware, your glassware, uh, centerpieces if your uh, caterer provides that too. So remember, a helpful proposal is a detailed proposal and it should represent your needs as well. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. Remember to comment on our website and keep asking those questions and I'll keep answering. Thank you.